It will be a double dose of angry street protests a week as the opposition lock horns with the ruling administration. Nasser now claiming the Jubilee Party is on a self-preservation mission and has resorted to enacting repressive election laws. But to counter the wave, the opposition is calling its supporters twice a week on Mondays and Fridays. We have no other option but to take the battle to the people. We want to resist attempt to impose on the people laws which are aimed at rigging the elections, the presidential elections in favor of Jubilee. Odinga describing the changes to the electoral laws as archaic and backward, saying instead of fostering transparency, the amendments are engineered to claw back on such gains made over time. Our country is under attack. The Jubilee government is on the offensive on the attack, trying to reverse all the gains which Kenyans have made over the years through great sacrifices uh, to our people. NASA also claiming its core principal Kalonza Musyoka was momentarily barred from flying to Uganda for not having clearance from status. That moving forward, Kalonza and Royal Odinga would require status clearance before leaving the country. That is a very, very strong statement. That is basically infringing on our freedom of travel. Director of Immigration Services Major General Gordon Kihalangwa has however termed the claims as false. Kihalangwa saying Musioka and Moses Wetangula departed for Entebbe without any hitch at 11.05 a.m. The opposition held its parliamentary group meeting today where Kajado Central MP Memusi Kanchori was tasked with developing a framework of ensuring NASA's presidential vote is secured in areas considered jubilee strongholds from manipulation. NASA is also towing with the idea of having their elected leaders act as agents in their respective constituencies during the repeat election. These amendments which are being introduced by Jubilee are worse than Mlolongo. They are trying to bring an election which they must win at all costs. Then there's no point in going for those elections. Wa Kenya walisha amua kitambu tare nane. Walisha amua ni nani watamchagua awe raisi wao. Si udhani kama kuna wa Kenya wengi watabadilisha yu wa muzi. From tare nane na wakati huu. Kwa hivyo mimi zioni hata haja ya kampeni sana. Lakini ile tunafanya ni kutoa watu wetu na kuwajitayarisha wa, 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 wajue ujaguzi na kuja. The opposition nonetheless adamant it will only participate in the election after a clean-up and restructuring of the Electoral Commission. Samugina Citizen Live at 9.